going to see what's going on in here. Check it out. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Just leaked and everybody has been saying that it's Lil Baby. Just a couple months ago, he attended an all-white party and was seen being very friendly with a couple other mm -hmm. men. Fast forward till now, nobody knows who posted the video, but they did know who to point the finger at. And because of this, this is what Lil Baby had to say. If you ask me, all he said is, please stop mentioning my name, but he never clarified that it wasn't him. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Every single time something gets released and leaked, they always make it seem like it wasn't them, but for some reason, it really seems like the total opposite. So a video was just leaked and everybody has been saying that it's Lil it. Baby. Just a couple months ago, he attended an all-white... Breaking news, a real-life Michael Myers has been attacking people. What? Authorities say they received three calls Cut separately on Monday evening. Cut the first call came in shortly before 6 p.m. The victim told officers that a person was armed with a hammer and demanded their cell phone. About 15 minutes later, a second victim made a phone call and said that a suspect was chasing them for a short distance and then stopped. However, when the victim returned to their vehicle, they found that their window had been smashed. The third incident took place near a home just after 7 p.m. The man reported while walking through the neighborhood, he was attacked, and after the attack, he realized his wallet was missing. All three of the incidents described the suspect arriving and departing in an older gray or silver sedan. The victims all three gave the same description of the suspect, including a white Halloween mask, which they described as, quote, a Michael Myers mask. Here's a look where the incidents all took place in Omaha, Nebraska. I'll keep you guys updated. What do you think? Drop in the comments. It's breaking news. Roll down the window. Because we done took responsibility for something we got no control over, bro. That's why I stay in solitude. Solitude don't got nothing to do with you hiding in the house and closing your door and not talking to nobody. Solitude is cutting things off and separating yourself mentally, bro. You're on a whole different mental plane of thinking and thought patterns. So the same things that affect normal people you're not gonna allow them to budge and move you or affect you it's a war it's a war on your vessel right now to keep you sleep dumb and tired irritated agitated and angry way you can raise your frequency is detach it from humanity. We take on too much that we don't have no control over. But the things that we do have control over, we give them to something else. Oh, changing your thinking, it doesn't matter. That, yes, it does. It's hard for you because you can't fathom how strong your brain is, your mind truly is, your soul truly is. This bird is definitely a clean freak. It uses a piece of snake skin as a rag to carefully wipe the branches dozens of times in a... Hey, look what I found. <laughs> I think that's somebody's pepper spray. Somebody must have dropped this. It's going to be a dark, dark winter, y'all. Let me see what she's talking about. I'm telling you. I seen that uh, in Louisiana uh, about the fall. I saw that. A few videos about the fall. It's going to be a dark month. Let me tell you this like this. Remember I told y'all that they fly at night in the sky they when do. they think everybody sleep. Most of the people sleep, you know, in the different areas. I know the times are different all over the world. But when that area, in that area, is sleeping, late nights or whatever, they think you're sleeping anyway. They fly through the sky and they do what they're going to do, preparing it to, 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 to hit the way they want it to hit. Whenever you walk outside and they know it still comes through. That's how you know what was um, started. And that's how people that stayed home got sick and didn't know why. How did I get it? You know, because it came through the cracks and, of the windows and all that kind of stuff. The doors. You know, that's sky. how you got sick. Mm -mm. Mm? They didn't have an explanation. So they had all these people wear these things over their face to whenever they went out. To make it seem like, you know, it was just out there. But no, it was out there, yes, but it was also able to come into your home. Now, this is what I'm going to say. It's a dark, It's going to be a dark winter. Last night, I was fine. And I'm fine today, really. I'm fine today because I know how to, I know how to deal with, I know how to heal 
I began to heal what they put out there to make me sick. Um, last night, I laid down and I began to feel mucus build up in my throat. <clears throat> build up in my throat. It started with a little drip feeling in my throat on the left side. So I began to cough. I made me some tea, some soursop tea. Nice. And I drunk that. You know, sipped on it, drunk it, whatever. Lay back down and it still was building up in my throat. Then I got a headache. A headache, y'all. Now, I'm in an area where at night it's cool. And during the day it kind of warms up. So I didn't sleep none last night. I didn't sleep not a second last night. I even... You know, begin to feel my heart running. You know, like uh, palpitating. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it was like, and then a stop, and I'm like, what in the world? And I felt it in my foot. Uh, the left side of my foot it was like my pulse was beating on the side of my foot. No, it's not. It wasn't the. Um, I know they say, you know, about heart disease and all that, but no. I don't think it was that. It was my body letting me know that I was beginning to get sick. So all night I laid there. And as I laid there in the bed, it got it got worse and worse. Then I felt a soreness come up in my throat on the right side. And that soreness went from here all the way up to here and curved back around to my ear. So I said, oh my goodness, what is this? So I just kept taking, I had me some mucinex and i began to take that to try to break up the uh the mucus in my chest in my throat <clears throat> and as you can see i still am kind of fighting it but i was also like i said drinking me some soursop tea with honey and um so i kept going and kept going and this this morning when i got on up probably was about five six o'clock i got back up and made me some more tea and took me some more mucinex and then I said, you know what, I'm going to go to my doctor and, and, and get them to at least look at my throat to tell me what's wrong. So I went to the doctor and she was like, well, yeah, your throat kind of red on this side. This side swollen and you have some fluid in your ear. <clears throat> I'm like, when in the world did that happen? <clears throat> it just happened overnight. She said, you didn't feel that? I said, no. 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 I went outside last night, yeah, but I was covered, you know. And um, went in the house, but it was nothing different <clears throat> than I've been doing. Everything I was doing was normal. But the thing is, yesterday, I heard, when it was getting dark, I heard a helicopter fly over the house. I was out there at the time. Hmm? So whatever they did, it affected me. Mm. Whatever they dropped down. It affected me because I was standing right outside when they flew over. They have been doing it for years. Yes, they have. They've been doing it for a long time. But they are getting very desperate. And they are trying to do stuff very fast because they only they know that they only have a little while before it's all over for them. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So they are very desperate. And they're trying to make us sick. Mm -hmm. uh, before the winter even come in so that it can say this thing has risen again and we need to do this and we need to do that we need to do this we need to do that so that they can put fear in you so that when you get a cold or your sinus start your sinuses start messing up then you run to them unless you have a good doctor huh unless you have a good doctor now you run to them and they want to throw you in the hospital and put you on uh, uh, a machine you know what I'm saying. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a dark winter for a lot of people mm -hmm. yeah. because they will put fear in you, and yeah. a lot of people are gonna get scared. Right. They're gonna get sick, and and, and they're gonna be like they feel so bad. They're gonna get scared. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, this is the beginning of things. The beginning of things. Yeah. They got you so uh, distracted with the things that's going on over there across country in, 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 in Israel. 
what's going on with them. They don't want you to pay attention to what's naturally happening or what they're trying to keep us from. They want you to concentrate on the on all the negative in the world to keep your vibrations at a low vib vibration. To keep you at a low vibration. They want you to focus on all the negative and not know who you truly are. That you can heal yourself if you just believe in the Father. You can He put everything here we need. Like right now, my throat, <clears throat> y'all, my throat is messing up. Like my chest was kind of tight, but like I said, I've been I've been drinking and um, drinking teas and taking stuff natural and mucinex, you know, and um, all that stuff. So yeah. I mean, never in my life have I ever, yes, I have been through some things, but never in my life have I ever um, <clears throat> went through nothing like this. Never felt it. Never felt it before. What I'm feeling now. Or what I was feeling last night. What I was feeling last night. So, I don't know what it is, but y'all be safe. Prepare yourself. Something I've been saying for two years or more. Prepare yourself. For what's coming. Because it's going to be a dark winter. And it may not hit the whole United States. But it's going to hit a lot of it. So prepare yourself. Get your children ready. Even your grown adult children. Let them know what's going on. And prepare yourself. Because this is the time. This is a time. A great time to be living in. But this is a time for you to take care of yourself too. Y'all be blessed. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bliss, bliss, stay bliss. They say. It's, this to, man um, saw Beyonce Jenny. saying that her music made him gay and that she cast spells on him actually isn't the first time somebody tried to sue her like this. This is just one of many things that makes me honestly think Beyonce is a witch. Now, before the Beehive people come for me, please know that I was an OG Beyonce fan. Like, I mean, I was young dancing to single ladies on On Demand in my living room. That was until her music started to become something that wasn't anything to dance to. Now, in the original headline, it says the man filed a $2.3 million lawsuit against Beyonce, quoting and saying, you're the reason I'm gay. So this is the original affidavit from June 19th of this year, and it basically explains what she's being charged with and what he is accusing her of doing in this lawsuit. Now, you guys have heard the beginning of Beyonce's Lemonade album um, titled Denial. It was supposed to be a poem. Basically, in this poem, she's talking about fasting for 60 days and plugging her menses with pages from the Bible. Now, that specifically, I want to elaborate and show you on how that in itself is a ritual for witches and it's just overall demonic. So I did some digging and the act of bleeding on sacred texts actually comes from the book of law. And in chapter one, it goes into detail about how is, this is demonic and how this is used to basically pledge your allegiance to you know who. Grew thick and skin on my feet. I bathed in bleach and plugged my menses with pages from the holy book, but still. And she then goes on to say that she levitated and saw the devil. And I'm just saying, if that's not really in your face, I don't know what else is. So the woman that actually sued Beyonce for this was actually her drummer. And she accused Beyonce of some crazy shit like killing her cat for a ritual, putting hexes on her, and all type of other things that I really think she was not lying about. This is the young lady who was suing her that used to be her drummer. But what I find crazy is the lady only wanted a restraining order against Beyonce. In her initial lawsuit, she wasn't even asking for money. And she was put under Beyonce's spell is now speaking out. The fact that people keep saying, I'm crazy? Hell! The situations I had to deal with and survive are crazy. Kimberly Thompson says she is tormented from being put under manic sexual spells by Beyonce. We're talking about other situations where changing into animals and, and jumping into other bodies. And that lady goes on to say that she witnessed some of the craziest shit and that Beyonce put her under these sexual spells and all this other freaky demonic stuff. But of course people ridiculed her and they go on to laugh at her, call her a liar and call her crazy. But what is the hardest lawsuit to prove? One without evidence, right? Right. Yeah. So I find it ironic that these people are saying these demonic things and witchcraft-like things have happened to them and no one knowingly is going to take them seriously, but yet these lawsuits go nowhere. 
What makes this even more crazy is that have you guys watched the show Swarm? And it's literally titled Swarm after Beyonce's fans who call themselves the Beehive. And basically this young lady goes to ask every person she knows who her favorite artist is. And when she finds out that it is not the artist that she likes, in this case Beyonce, she kills them. She's literally a serial killer based on a favorite artist. I find that very coincidental that it has all these likenesses to Beyonce and all these things are being said about her being demonic and practicing witchcraft and it's just coincidence that someone will come out with this show oh no it actually happened and i stand by saying that she's a witch and i mean you guys can continue to listen to renaissance and listen to the crazy shit that's been coming out her mouth but i'm telling you all this shit started when she was 27 yeah this man's definitely a gatekeeper y'all for sure all right we're gonna end it off right there y'all you already know we're gonna keep these videos coming um it's in peace, abundance, prosperity, all that good stuff, man. And uh, make sure you have a good day today, man. Get out with nature. It's too cold. Um, shoot, just try to break the wind. I don't know. <clears throat> it's really about to get back cold. I do not like the cold at all. Be honest, you don't like the cold. I do not like the cold, man. Mm -mm. That's why I want to go somewhere where it's always hot. But with all that being said, peace, and you have an abundance day today, man. Peace out.